Hello guys, in the previous video, I have given the way how to solve the question of the coordinate geometry. Some also I have cited some of the question. This is also the question of the on the base of the same distance formula, but something different from that question is in this question is here. A line intersect the y axis at x axis at a P and Q respectively if 2 and minus 5 is the mean point of PQ find the value of P and Q. So it means before seeing this video I ask you also suggest you must watch the first video then second video it is the third video the previous video first part it is the second part in the first part you will must see to understand this question now come to this question suppose a line the first we will draw the graph axis it is the y axis it is here x axis o is your origin question says a line it is a line it is a line it cuts y axis at point p this is the point p which is located at the y axis and q is located at x axis here is given now we are given the mid point of pq this is the mid point suppose m is the mid point the mid point we are given 2 comma minus 5 2 comma minus 5 we have to get the coordinate of p and q some of the data brief about it is here as in the previous video I told you that any line which cuts at x axis its ordinate becomes zero it means at x axis second coordinate is zero it means first coordinate is x at x axis second coordinate is zero therefore coordinate of q becomes x and zero and the point which lies on y axis its abscissa is zero it means first coordinate is zero second is here y we have to get y and x by this way we will get the coordinate of point p and coordinate of point q okay now since m is the mean point of pq therefore this is two the mean point formula is here x equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 y coordinate equal to y1 plus y2 by 2 <coughs> here abscissa is 2 2 is the x coordinate we will write here 2 x1 0 becomes x1 plus x2 x becomes here x2 by 2 therefore x becomes 4 for y coordinate here is for x coordinate x is here x1 plus x2 by 2 for y coordinate y equal to y1 plus y2 by 2 for y coordinate is here minus 5 we will write here minus 5 y1 becomes here y i will write here y y2 becomes second is the y it is the 0 plus 0 by 2 therefore y becomes minus 10 <coughs> now coordinate coordinate of point P, the P abscissa is 0, ordinate is Y, value of Y is minus 10, I will write here minus 10. For Q, abscissa is X, value of X is 4, I will write here 4, and at X axis Y coordinate is 0. That is the answer. Now, this question is over. Therefore, you will also keep and solve the question on the base of these types of the question. If you feel any difficulty in this video, you will comment, you will ask a problem. I will try to solve, cooperate, support, give the instruction. Also, some of the trick how to solve the question. Now, in the previous video, now one point is left, collinear point. 
collinear points condition for collinear points i am explaining to you suppose we are given three points we know that collinear points all of the points which lies on the straight line those are called collinear points suppose a b c if it is a collinear points then it must lie on the straight line it might be then first point is a second point is b third point is c for the collinear points so we will write here a b plus b c becomes here a c first condition is the collinear point it might be that, that c comes here it might be the b come here then becomes a c plus b c equal to a b so we will a c plus b c equal to a b it might be that c may come here a may go there then for b c here a c plus a b equal to b c now <coughs> student these three are the condition for collinear points if a b plus b c becomes a c then i will say a b c are collinear if a c plus b c is mean length of a c plus length of b c becomes a b we will say it is these are collinear points if a c plus a b equal to b c then we will say the collinear point collinear point just like the hands this is the point this point plus this point becomes the straight line similarly this is the spreading hands this plus this becomes so it is the collinear points you will solve on this base of this another points distance formula all of the question from the distance formula will be solved on this three factor distance formula mid point formula this is the mid point formula and the collinear points second topic is here section formula section formula six time ka for the section formula i am giving the description about this if you are feeling any problem in any question in same video you will must section formula A student i want to say a very important thing to you if you are interested to get the proof of the distance formula section formula you will must you must comment to the description box i will try to solve to it in the try to understand the section formula suppose section formula is this suppose we are given two points a and b a and b obviously a has the certain coordinate coordinate of a is suppose x1 y1 coordinate is b is here x2 y2 then we have to take any point which lies either between a or b or on the same line away from the a so when the a, when the any point which lies between the a and b that is called this p intersect ab internally internally it means section formula means that p may lie on ab in two ways first way between a and b second way out of the a and b but on the same straight line so suppose p is inside the a and b so now obviously there must be the some distance of p from a suppose distance of p from a is m1 m and distance of p to b is n it might be so this ap is called intercept bp is called another intercept intercept 
uh, then there must be the sum coordinate of p suppose its coordinate is x y so when when p intersects intersects or intercepts the p lies p lies internally when p lies internally then x equal to this m intersection this is called section formula section means clear section means one part of the whole line that is the section section means one part is what a b other part is what b p the a p is the one part b p is the other part therefore to get the way to get the coordinate of p is called section formula the section formula x equal to m m will be multiplied to for the x coordinate m will be multiplied to x2 and n will be multiplied to x1 that becomes mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n for the x coordinate for the y coordinate for the y coordinate this is the y the, this m will be multiplied to y the m y2 this n will be multiplied to y2 that becomes m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n this is the section formula but this section formula when m lies internally within line a and b when p lies out of the a and b then that is called externally so when p lies externally then x equal to in that ways there will be difference i will give the detail in the <coughs> next video uh, what is the reason there is a difference i will give explain to it m y 2 minus n y 1 by m minus m minus n for the x coordinate for the y coordinate for the x coordinate mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n now guys